I'm going to show you how to make one of these rubber band rockets. They're a lot of fun. You can fling them with your finger, or you can use a meter stick and launch them that way. But uh, the materials you're going to need are a part of a foam noodle. It's a part of it's pre-cut. Uh, you're going to need some tape, some string, a few streamers, a pencil, uh, some sort of a meter stick or ruler, uh, scissors, two rubber bands, and this template. So first, let's get into it. So the first part we're going to make is the not of the nose. To do that, we are going to take a pencil, and we're going to take the sharp end, and we want it about two centimeters from the top. Note how the back is the part that has the slices already, so don't do it to the back, do it to the top. I'm going to cut in about two centimeters from the top, and I'm looking in to make sure it's nice and level. You can see it's nice and level like that. And you're going to, want to, going to want to puncture all the way through, like so. And once you have the pencil through, there's going to be a little bit of a hole there. So you're going to take one of your longer rubber bands. And this is a little bit of a tricky part. You're going to use the eraser end, and you're going to try to push the rubber band through the hole that you just made. And it's even trickier trying to get it through the other side, but with a little practice you can do it. Push it all the way through. And once you have the rubber band through, make sure you don't let these pieces uh, come out. So I think I'm just going to put some pencils in here so I don't accidentally pull it out. So uh, the next part you're going to do is you're going to take another rubber band. And this is a tricky part, so let me show you this up close. So right now you have the rubber band going through. And be careful you don't lose the rubber band. That's annoying when it gets lost. Uh, so what you're going to do on the inside, it's kind of hard to see on the inside. So if you look at this, imagine this is what's inside your uh, tube. See, it's green, green. You're going to have another rubber band. And what you're going to do, it's kind of like a luggage tag. You're going to wrap the rubber band around both of the green uh, rubber band parts. And you're going to kind of like loop the rubber band through itself and pull it. And if you pull it tight, that's, that's uh, how you complete it. Let me uh, undo that so you can see it one more time. You're wrapping one rubber band around the other, and you're pulling it through itself, like that. And that's what you're going to do inside the tube. It's kind of hard to see it inside the tube. That's why I did this outside demonstration. So let's do it actually inside the tube. Remember, this is where you really want to have something like... Um, pencils or a toothpick or whatever, holding these rubber bands so they don't come in. You're pulling this out so you can access it. And then you're going to take that rubber band, just like we did it on the uh, example, and we're going to pull it around and through itself, like that, until that's what we have, just like in the example I showed. And then once it's like that, you can carefully take the pencil out, and then you're going to stretch this, and you're going to pull it around like that. And then the other side, you're going to stretch it and pull it out and around so it looks like this. And this is where you take your duct tape, like so. You're going to want just enough to completely wrap the uh, head of the rocket. So you're going to tape it and carefully wrap it. Careful not to catch the rubber band. Try to do it nice and neatly. If you had some um, fancy looking duct tape, that would probably look cool. But this is just regular great duct tape. Uh, and now the uh, front part is all done. Now the next part you're going to do is you're going to make uh, using this template, you're going to make the fins. This is the final fin, that's what they look like. And this is, the, uh, this is what you're trying to make right now. So to do that, you take your template. Notice how the top of it is here says make a slit here, and on the back, this other side of the template, it's the bottom part. So what you're really doing is you're making one with a slit on the top, one with a slit on the bottom, so when you put them together and make it like a cross, you'll have your fins. So take a piece of cardboard, and you can 
see how I do this. Uh, I'm going to put my template down. I'm going to trace it out like so. And here's a clever trick to save space. You can flip it around, save yourself a little cutting time, and you can make the other uh, trapezoid right next to it, like so. Now, with those traced out, you can cut those. Be careful, because this is uh, cardboard, and you're probably using stronger scissors, so you got to be careful not to cut yourself. I'm cutting them both out at the same time. Two trapezoids, making one longer parallelogram. There we go. So we got two trapezoids right here. Let's cut them apart from each other. Now, if you look at the template, we have to slit one on the bottom and the other on the top. So I'm slit slitting this one on the top. You want to have it in the center, and you want to go towards the very uh, middle of it. Kind of like that for one, going all the way to the middle. And this one I'm going to do on the bottom. Probably want to measure so you're a little bit more accurate than what I'm doing. And then it's this one's on the top slit, this one's on the bottom slit. And if I put them at the right angles to each other, you kind of fiddle them a little bit into each other like that. You can see it should make a, a cross shape. And if it's not perfect, you can fiddle around with it and make it how you like. So there we have a cross shape. And this is what fits into this cut section in the back. If you go like this, you can see it fits in there. Now, if you wanted to, you could uh, trim these to other shapes. You could have it be rounded. You could have it be bigger or smaller. But what I would suggest you do if you want to change it is whatever you do, uh, keep it symmetrical. If you want to have this side be rounded, make sure this is the same size and rounded. Whatever you do to one side, make sure you do it to the other side so the whole thing seems uh, symmetrical when you're done. So if you put this in there like that, now the only thing left is to add the tail like this. For the last part, the uh, tail, what you're going to want to do is choose two colors, or I guess you could use the same color if you want. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use uh, yellow and red so it kind of looks like fire. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut about, about 56 centimeters of length with one color. And I'm going to do that by using my meter stick here, which is about 23 inches. So you want about 56 centimeters here. I like to cut them at the edge at a diagonal, like that. I think it looks cooler. So that's one. And if you want one of uh, them to be a little bit longer or a little bit shorter than the other, that uh, I think gives it a nice, uh, nice look. So I'm cutting this approximately about 56 or so centimeters. And one side I have looking like that, and the other side I'm going to have looking a little bit more of an angle like that. So what I'm going to do is now that I have my two streamers here, I'm going to fold them in half. I'm folding this in half. And I'm going to put one color on top of the other, like so, making sure they're uh, even-ish, so it's hanging in the middle. I'm going to uh, pinch them at the middle, like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small string, like this, and I'm going to just tie a little knot around them. Like so. Doesn't need to be fancy or anything. Just tie a little knot. And that's should hang fine. And then the last step we're going to do is we're going to take a small little square of duct tape. So I'm cutting a square of duct tape about that size. And then I'm going to carefully, I'm going to carefully poke a hole right in the middle. Like that. And it can be a little tricky to do this, so you might need to Take a little time. You're going to um, push the string. Um, this is the uh, non-sticky side. This is the sticky side. You're going to want the sticky side um, opposite the tail, so like this. You're going to try to push it through. If you want to use a pencil or something like that, that might help. Just get that string through. 
Careful not to get the tape to stick to your streamer because that will be a pain to get off. And then, if you see it like this, you're going to pull it until it touches one side, and then you're going to just cut the excess off. So you just need a little bit of string. Tiny amount of string is all you need. Yep. So it should look at like this at that point. And the very last step is you pull it tight so it's not all splayed out. You pull it tight like this, and you're going to put this tape right covering up these ends, like that. And you press it down as best you can, and that should be a finished rocket. So. If you want, you can uh, try adding more rubber bands. You can uh, doubling up the rubber bands so it's harder to pull back and it stores more elastic potential energy. And you can fling it with your finger. I'll just do a little test fire with this to see how it goes. You want to, when you're shooting it, you want to hold it like this. You don't want to hold it like, like this, otherwise this, the fins are just going to hit your hand. You want to hold it like this so you can easily let go. And and it's all done. Here's a test launch.